This is some of the longest prison sentences in the United States. First on the list, meet Chris Bennett. Back in 2003, Chris Bennett was charged with killing his stepfather, Vincent McDormand, after breaking into his home and allegedly catching him inappropriately touching his younger sister. Chris ended up shooting and killing his stepfather and then taking a checkbook and running away. Chris was charged later that night with capital murder, breaking and entering, and robbery. And for these charges, Chris Bennett was given three 600 year sentences adding up to a total of 1800 years. But that's literally the least amount of years on his list. Let's talk about Lawrence Stevens. At the time of Lawrence Stevens' arrest, he was a homeless restaurant worker and was only 18 years old in 2001 when he and several others pulled off a home invasion robbery in the seafood section of York County, Virginia. According to his attorney, no shots were fired and no one was injured. Under sentencing guidelines, Lawrence Stevens' max sentence should have been no longer than 13 years in prison. But somehow, Lawrence Stevens was sentenced to 1,823 years over 140 times with the guideline mandated. But in 2021, Lawrence Stevens was granted a conditional pardon by the governor, Ralph Northam, and his sentence was commuted. He was released January 2022 at the servant 20 years in prison. Or how about Larry Keel? In 1992, Larry Keel sold a small amount of cocaine to an undercover policeman. The police followed him, and after his arrest, 86 grams of cocaine, 40 grams of marijuana, and $1,800 was seized from his car. At the time of his arrest, Larry Keel was on parole for a federal bank robbery conviction in Alabama. Larry Keel received 1,000 years for drug trafficking, 1,000 years for possession of marijuana with the intent to distribute, 250 years for failure to have a tax stamp on the drugs, 250 years for maintaining a vehicle with illegal drugs, and one year possession of drug paraphernalia, with a total of 2,501 years. The prosecutor said they gave him the hard sentence because of his prior drug dealing history. But with all those years that Larry Kill was sentenced to, he was paroled and walked free on June of 2009. 2,500 years is a lot, but would you believe that someone got sentenced to more years than that? Well, let's talk about Ronnie Shelton. Better known as the West Side Rapist, Ronnie Shelton was convicted of raping 30 women in Cleveland, Ohio over a six year period. Some reports suggested that he may have raped up to 50 women after breaking into their homes with a face covering and telling them they were about to be robbed. He would demand the victims not to look at him while he committed his crimes. In doing this, his behavior led to his arrest. He was found guilty of 220 charges, including 49 rapes of over 30 women in Cleveland, Ohio, and he received a sentence of 3,195 years in prison. This is officially the longest prison sentence ever handed down in the state of Ohio. Ronnie Shelton did not finish that sentence. He committed suicide in prison on September 25th, 2018. But that don't beat Franklin Ransonette and Woodrow Ransonette. These pair of brothers was given 5,005 years each in Dallas, Texas for the kidnapping of Amanda Dilly, the daughter-in-law of Joe Dilly, the DM president of Dallas News. The brothers had kept Dilly in an abandoned duplex for 60 hours and released her after her family paid a ransom of $250,000. The brothers was arrested and the money was recovered just four hours after the release. Woodrow Ransonette was released on parole in 1999 and Franklin Resnick died in prison in 2008. But wait, the sentences get even harsher. Ifan Wukukonski is an alleged gang member of the Bloods. Prosecutors said that he was aiming at 23-year-old Coy Papa C. Thompson, a member of his rivals, the Crips. This 3 a.m. nightclub shooting killed Papa C. Thompson and two other concert goers and wounded two other people, including the show's headliner performer, Houston, Texas rapper Trader Truth. Uwe Kunski, who was out on bail after being accused of assaulting a police officer trainee, was picked out of a photo lineup and charged with three counts of capital murder. He was tried and convicted, and he was sentenced to a total of 7,000 years in a Texas prison. This next person you might remember from an episode of First 48. His name is Rigoberto Hernandez. Hernandez is accused of shooting and killing three people outside of a nightclub in Dallas, Texas. His girlfriend got into an altercation at the club and was hit by one of the victims. Rigoberto then approached and opened fire, killing all three that was involved in the altercation against his girlfriend. All three died at the scene. He turned himself in a couple hours later and he was tried and convicted and he was also sentenced to 7,000 years in prison. 7,000 years is a lot, and it can't be anyone sentenced to more than that, right? Well, let's talk about Darren Anderson and Alan McLaurin. These guys had the greatest amount of prison time given of an appeal. This pair was found guilty of crimes ranging from rape of an elderly woman in Tulsa County to larceny, robbery, and kidnapping. Darren Anderson 
was sentenced to 2,250 years and Alec McLaurin received 2,000 years per count. But these guys decided to appeal their conviction and guess what happened? Both was reconvicted, re-sentenced, and received an additional prison term. Darren Anderson received an additional 9,500 years, and McLaurin received a total of 20,750 years. Both sentences was appealed again and reduced, and both men ended up with a 500-year sentence. They are still incarcerated in Oklahoma. So these guys got 20,000 and 9,000 years. That's a lot of years, man. But I was sure... 20,750 years was the longest prison sentence ever given in America. Well, it's actually one guy that topped that. And number one on our list is Charles Scott Robinson. Charles Scott Robinson was found guilty of a number of counts of sexual assault. And what made these crimes worse was the fact that it was carried out against children. Fearing that Charles Robinson may get out of prison in just 13 years on parole, the judge would give him a sentence that would mean that he couldn't possibly get out of prison for at least 75 years. He was given 5,000 years on six counts of assault. He received a total of 30,000 years in Oklahoma prison. So Charles Robinson Scott was sentenced to the most years in the United States. But is all these years wasting taxpayer dollars? Maybe so. But most of these guys, they deserve them years. But if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's your boy, Highboy Jesse, and I'm out.